Hello students and welcome to Architects Academy video lecture series. Today we are going to learn about timber roofs part 3 that is collar roofs. Now let us quickly go through the classification of timber roofs again. Timber roofs are classified into single roofs, double roofs and triple roofs based on the members that are used. For example, single roofs have only rafters, double roofs have rafters and purlins and triple roofs have rafters, purlin and truss. Single roofs are classified into couple roof, closed couple roof and collar roof. In this particular presentation, we are going to learn more about collar roof. So let us just see the components of the collar roof. The main components of the collar roof are wall plate, rafters, collar, battens and tiles. The different member here in the collar roof is the introduction of the collar. Now the collar is similar to the tie member which we had seen in the closed couple roof. So looking at this particular sketch, you will see that these two members which are the inclined members are called as the rafters. The tie member here instead of being a tie, a straight tie as you had seen in case of the closed couple roof, it has been given a particular shape and it also is jointed with the rafters and this is called now as a collar. As you will see here is that the collar was introduced as a result of creating more space below the roof. In closed couple roof due to the presence of the tie member that is the tie member was at the lower end. The clear space below the roof had considerably reduced. Therefore to achieve more space below the roof we are lifting up the tie member by about one third the height of the roof. So if you consider this to be the total height of the roof then the collar is now placed at about one third the height of the roof. This gives more space below the tie member. Now as a result of raising this roof up the maximum span is slightly reduced than in case of the closed couple roof and now it becomes 4 meters. So you can see the same thing now in cross section. So what you can see here is the two wall plates, the two inclined members which are the rafters and the tie member which is the collar. As you can see the collar has been raised up from the wall plate creating more space below the roof. The collar also has got a special type of joint which we will be seeing later which is called as the half dough tail joint. The rest of the structure of the roof remains the same as in case of the single roofs. So this is showing you why the collar roof has got an advantage over the closed couple roof. In case of the closed couple roof, the space below the roof had considerably reduced while as in case of the collar, because the collar has been now raised up, you can get much more space below the roof. Now let us see the joint which is there between the collar and the rafter. As you can see this particular joint is called as half dough tail joint which is derived from the tail of the dough. So as you can see here the rafter is partially cut inside to create a housing and this particular joint which is going to be called as the half dough tail joint is made in the tie member and it is inserted from the side and nailed of course. So as you can see here the joint has been shown more in detail. Now as a result of this particular shape which has been given to the collar you can see that the tendency of the collar to get pulled out from the rafter is reduced. So that is why the shape of the collar is made in this way. So I hope this uh, presentation of uh, half dough tail joint is clear to you. So this is the end of 
part 3 of the lecture for color rule. Thank you.